BJ Franz K here, and I'm working still with the Voxel DLC edition for Painter VR. And I've what I've done is to activate. Let's see where is it? I've activated the view hide symmetry, and I've turned on lock. That is good because previously I don't think there was a lock option for the symmetry uh, thing and you could accidentally grab it and then um, you would never be able to get it back into position and I had that happen a few times and then just sort of decided to go with it from there um, kind of give up doing symmetry from that point forward and make it look intentional. But in this case, now it is nice and locked. And what am I building here? Um, it's going to be a blue robot. I have like... Uh, the shoulders here of the robot and here's a head area then I'll do some other things but you can see what in this program where it um, freeform illustration is basically the focus of it the voxel mode gives you a chance to add a more rigid construction grid to it and uh, as you can see this um, duplication grid mirrors on the other side of the the field what you have done on that side so It can be good to use this when you need to. As I said before, um, voxels are volumetric pixels. So yeah, I don't need to add that much onto the arms, maybe. All right, I don't have to duplicate it on the other side, of course, because it is cloned on this side. For making things like hands, you might want a smaller resolution than these huge, chunky voxels as we are dealing with them here, but I'm going to keep going with this concept. So I talked about before using the voxels, which were these are diffuse voxels, but then I could use some of these. Wait, see, it's, it's too easy to select that option. That is definitely a sort of dangerous possible choice there. So, voxel. Starting to get too many menus on the program. It was it was perfect before um, when the things were not 
We're not broken in half. Stroke mode. There's the voxels. So, I'll put in some retro voxels. Like there's, there's energy inside here or something like that. <laughs> Maybe that's about right. See what what color was I using here before? Was it this color? Not really. Looks like I've lost the color of my robot. But basically have everything laid out for him, so we're just going to take it from here. Actually, no. I'm going to undo back a few steps. Now, I'm going to go into non-voxel mode and uh, put down some other shapes. Instead, sort of combine the idea of the voxels and the non-voxels. There we go. Those might as well be actual circles though, don't need hemispheres. Or could even be Taurus. It's too bad I can't have my Taurus is just locked, locked to this grid, but I guess it's not possible. Now... Add some extra extras. Capsules for antenna or something. Oh, 
I guess there is no way to lock. There's no way to lock the stroke width. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So just uh, do it a few times until it seems to be correct. Can I try moving these things? Will they move? Don't know. Those look kind of like horns. thought robots with humanoid ears, they don't look quite right. Anyway, so there's a start. So it could be like one of those toy robots with a fiery gearbox or something. Just a little fire. <laughs> Try to make the fire not come through the top of them. That's about right. Like energy in the center. Oops. Oh, I see. the fire follows behind but if i if i let it stay still then if i let it stay still then it does it acts as you would expect so all right now I'll try something else. Somewhere on here there was comets. Comets? Oh, not on this program actually. But it would be cool if they were here. See what happens if I do a line of fire. You know? That looks okay, I guess. Not good, but okay. What about if I use a straight line mode? Oh, I can't do straight line mode with this. I guess that's as good as I will get in this situation. Lasers from his fingers, right? And then add sparkles. Wow. Now it looks like he's short-circuiting. So, this robot is firing lasers. Or, I guess it's a flamethrower. 
There's all of this fire. And what is over here? What is going to be over here? Maybe I will turn off the symmetry mode to do this. I think I'll have alien monster or something. He's fighting. Symmetry, hide, and unlock. Okay, don't need the purple sparkles. Now I'm not going to use voxel mode. I'll use organic mode and revolve shapes. Wow, a big blob. A big purple blob. Maybe I should use rotate mode. Revolve shapes. Nope, that is wrong. Got to remember. Don't draw the whole thing. You'll instinctively draw the whole thing. But instead, just draw a cross section of the whole thing. Oops. But then also you need... You need, um, I'm not going to describe it, I'll just do it. Nope. Turn it off. Freehand mode. Well, first, let's just have some tentacles hovering around here. That's pretty good. Get the robot's eye viewpoint. situation. In regular art, you couldn't do this. Wow, that's pretty good. In regular art, you couldn't just rotate yourself into the inside of the picture, could you? That is what is so special with V2. 
VR 3D art, but also with VR art. That's probably enough tentacles. But now we need some weird eyeballs, right? What color are his eyes? Try... Try to separate... Separate out several different colors in the image so... Things aren't overlapping. Bright yellow. That will work. Fill this. Bright yellow eyeballs. Then green something, green snow, you know, that doesn't look right. That's the problem with the snow, is it will never look like anything but snow. Fog. Oh, wait. That's about right. But maybe it's weird. Some other weird color. No, doesn't look right. Bright pink energy. Oh yeah, that's starting to look like lasers, isn't it? See if I can use my straight line tool, can I? Oops, it's not very straight, is it? In fact, none of it is very straight. Undo, 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 undo. Fairly narrow. <laughs> it is really hard to do that. But I have the advantage I can use this angle.
That's about right. No, it's not. <laughs> I can still see that is not a straight line. It is remarkably hard to actually draw a straight line. when you're in full three-dimensional space, but good enough. Good enough for this situation. Does it need some teeth? Yeah. Pyramids or cones? We'll try the cones. See what they look like. He needs some head antennae also, wouldn't you say? Nope, not straight lines. Once again, freehand mode. question is, is this creature sort of an insect or an octopus? Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> it's pretty funny. And where would this battle be taking place? How about the middle of outer space? So, just to make sure that I don't screw it up in some way, I'm going to go ahead and save this much. It's not perfect, but I like the way it's turning out. classic 50s sci-fi thing, the humans and their robots versus the, quote, bug-eyed monsters, right? Save it to console. Go to good photo to represent the scene. That'll do. Good. Now, whoops. Still have both my controllers here, but can't use the second controller. I wish I could use the second controller. All right. Then here, and we'll put out snow sparkles. There we go. And the sparkles will be white. Because it's going to be outer space. Then I'll add also dust. 
but you know it's not any regular dust, it's stardust, right? Stardust. Hmm, that's pretty good. It almost looks like we're falling through space. That's not a good thing. But whatever. The effect would really be active if I were to go into options, turn off this grid, turn off the camera. Now I don't have any back I don't have any clues about where the background is. Oh, wow. Give it some weird colorful light. And that changes the entire feel of the scene. Ooh. Look at that. Of course, if you're really lighting a scene, you may want multiple lights of different colors. So this is a pretty simplified look into the world of 3D color. I'm just going to leave it leave it the way it is. All the bright colors of my image will be thrown off a bit if I change if I change the color of the lighting. Leave that there. Wait, but what I could do... I guess it looks better in the night, doesn't it? Makes the robot stand out because he was already kind of blue. Wow, I feel like I'm floating in space, getting a little disoriented. That will happen in VR. What else do I have to do? Maybe a big nose for the robot. And I can do it without symmetry mode on. Is his nose perhaps a cone? Is it a capsule? Or his nose? Does that look too, too stupid? I know. I will use flipping back and forth, looking at all the different stuff, tools, there. All right, cone, a pyramid for the nose. A pyramid is kind of nose shaped, if you think about it. Turn him upside down. I can do this, it's in 3D. Make sure it's right on ideal nose position. Rotate him back, oh, that's not ideal. All right, I can match the color of that voxel somehow. Guesstimate it. More of a blue, sky blue. He's kind of a sky blue color. A little darker, that's right. 
add some more details, his nose, what is it going to be? It's going to be a circle, am I back in voxel mode again? Okay, that's a that's perfect. Why? Oh wait, I see. It's not the right kind of voxel though. Do it with the smoothed voxels. There, it looks like it belongs there. That's a question. With art, you ask yourself, does it look like it belongs there? In fact, what I can go and do is now go and turn on uh, re reactivate the like I said, menus are getting a bit tedious now. Symmetry, lock, and view. There we go. Oh, the grid. The grid is kind of cool, isn't it? To see that grid. All right. So then, now I will go in here and... Oh, another feature which I haven't even used yet, but I might as well get some use out of it because it is here. There, back, voxel mode, color. Color the voxels. Got it. Yeah. So give him some internal color variation. Make him more interesting. There, because... I accidentally made him two different colors because I couldn't match the color exactly. But now I'm making it look intentional. Differentiating him out into two different shades of blue. Yeah. And it looks like it was supposed to be that way from the beginning. neck. Yeah, that is a good way to color a robot in general. Sort of suggestion of having ears, but not really. Maybe a circle decoration for his hands. Go into Sphere, add a nice sphere right here. Like there's a sphere embedded inside his hand. On the edge there, it's like, oh, I see. It's like adding rivets to the structure. That looks good. Okay. Add a few more. On the front of him. Rivets at the edge of his smile. Pictures don't have to make logical sense as long as there is some sort of internal logic to how it seems to be put together. Yeah, rivets, here and there. Maybe a few... a few toruses. Keep forgetting what menu I'm looking for. This. Do 
Does that look right? Maybe. Don't want to add too much detail, but enough details to make things interesting. Now that looks more like a robot ear. I mean, it's, it's ear-like, but it's also just sort of robot-ish thing to be good. Since there's all the details on the robot, one wonders what this, this uh, bug-eyed monster deserves to have. Maybe some, some rings, some rings around his neck or other things. Would that look good? Whoa, I see. Deactivate the mirror plane again. And change the color. White, once again, is that good? That doesn't improve it, actually. What about if I made, got another trophy, whatever that means. What if I made a chain, ooh, a chain of Tauruses around his neck. Not Taurus is, Tauros, Taurus is. It's a mathematical figure. Looks like a ring. Not tourists. I don't know if it's the the name for it is Tori. The official just so this guy doesn't feel bad about having a lack of detail while the robot over there gets all kind of fancy details. Creature is rather angry. Doesn't want his outer space lair invaded, I guess. Looks good. Is 
Is there anything else necessary for this? Adding more scenery would throw off the sort of space background effect that we have here. So I'm going to leave it that way. Looks good to me. This has been VJ Franz K creating with the new Voxel DLC on Painter VR, PlayStation 4, with the Move controllers. It's interesting. Yet again, all of this VR stuff, creative tech. That's the focus of my channel. Um, please subscribe here on YouTube and consider becoming a Patreon subscriber. Thank you very much for watching.